Hello, I'm Tyler Erlenthal, Head of Engineering at Chat Mode, and today we'll be going over Win Automation, six useful action folders for bot development. Useful action folder number one is web automation, and we'll just go to it. So why web automation is useful is because you can automate any of the processes that you would normally do as a user inside of a browser. Uh, this ranges from opening up a Chrome browser, opening up a Firefox browser, um, creating new tabs, visiting web pages, downloading links, um, even hovering over elements. Uh, you can populate web forms via text field or checkboxes, drop down lists, etc. Um, also, you can start to extract data from web pages. So, this is where you start to generate variables um, from web data. So if you are normally someone who goes to a web page to extract data um, and you do that a lot, maybe you want to automate that process. Useful folder number two would be the variables action folder. Inside of the variables action folder, you have a multitude of things ranging from setting a variable to increasing and decreasing decrements to uh, getting item list counts, generating random numbers, uh, sorting, shuffling, merging, you name it. Uh, it can be pretty much done in the variables section. And it's very useful for um, generating and storing variables because memory is a very um, useful concept in developing your bots. Um, uh, normally, your NLP system has a form of context, a form of understanding, and a form of parameters on its um, cognitive and NLP side. But on the RPA side, you can also have a uh, multitude of variables, uh, such as uh, lists, um, parsed data from websites, uh, extracted Excel files, PDFs, uh, you name it, that, that could be stored here. Third on our list of most important folders would be the conditionals folder. Inside the conditionals folder, you have our normal if, else, switch statements, case statements, essentially anything that goes into a normal conditional statement uh, where you can have logic built in. Uh, but you also notice uh, you have specific ones like if folder exists, if file exists, uh, if window exists. So if a window is open, if a window is open and contains, uh, if a window is open and a page contains, uh, you get where I'm going. Essentially, you can uh, parameter ties even web pages and elements on those web pages to be conditional statements. So having that type of logical knowledge inside of your uh, bot would be exceptionally handy, and it very much is. Uh, you can also see OCR if text is on screen. So uh, we're leading into giving your bot vision. Folder number four would be the OCR folder, and OCR full, uh, stands for Optical Character Recognition, and here is where you construct your optical character recognition engines. Uh, you have the option of a Tesseract model or a Modi uh, OCR engine. Tesseract uh, ran by Google, Modi I believe is ran by Microsoft. Um, both of them are good. Uh, I've only personally been able to spin up a Tesseract engine. Um, it's pretty easy to spin one up. You essentially just establish an Im image width and image height multiplier, and it's good to go. Uh, Modi, I believe you need to have some form of credential, um, so I haven't really taken the time to figure that out. Um, but with this, you can start to extract um, text and characters from files uh, or PDF. Um, you can even use the OCR on web pages, so it's very handy for extracting um, text numbers and or characters from uh, images, whereas uh, element extraction or uh, feature extraction via web automation or UI automation might not be uh, as useful. Number five on our list would be the text actions folder. So inside of the text actions folder, you have a various array of things that you can do. You can parse, split, join text, replace text, convert random text to uh, date time, date time to text. Um, 
This is essentially where you fix all of your text elements. So let's say you parsed something using OCR. It has a lot of uh, uh, various variables that are um, not useful for uh, the process in the future. Like let's say it picked up like a money sign character or um, some obscure characters that you don't want. You can just replace text or parse text and uh, get rid of that. Um, let's say you extracted a huge list, you can split text via comma to if it's delimited by something. Um, a lot of great things that you can do using the text action folder. Um, so I tend to use it a lot. So last but definitely not least of the action folders that you should consider putting inside of your bot would be the cognitives action folder. So anything inside of the cognitive action essentially goes above and beyond uh, what OCR can do. OCR is kind of like giving your uh, chatbot a pair of eyes to uh, look at text and essentially analyze text. But what we have inside of this cognitive folder and what allows you to do is um, a wide array of things so you can start to analyze using google's vision api faces landmarks uh, logos so essentially uh, if there's a coke logo in something like in a photo you could definitely figure that out if there's a nike photo someone's wearing nike maybe you want to analyze thousands of photos to essentially uh, find a proper brand influencer or something uh, you can use logo to detection to find who is wearing your brand um, natural language uh, sentiment analysis, um, very useful things right here. IBM also has some visual recognition that you could tap into. You can convert documents. I could find this to be exceptionally handy. So PDF to text file, uh, PDF to Word, uh, super handy. Um, analyzing tone, uh, that kind of goes along with sentiment analysis. Uh, it's really great. Um, translation um, and then identifying language. Uh, super great uh you could easily just plug that into your bot uh to have multiple languages um it's probably not perfect but it's a good start um and then as you get down to microsoft we also see computer vision ocr describe an image so essentially if you set up a vision model have it be described um face detection similar face detection uh tech language key phrases sentiment analysis and spell check um <laughs> That's a pretty cool one. I mean, maybe you could have it check homework or something. Um, but one that I've used uh, is analyze image. So essentially, I've made models to analyze birds, pills, um, rocks, gemstones, um, you name it. There's, there's a multitude of things that you could do here that would be very useful to add to your bot. Um, and uh, I think that this is where um, the most impact can be made uh in the development process of your bot just trying to imagine all the ways that you can actually um integrate cognitive services and make your um chatbot not only conversationally smart but cognitively smart with vision ai and uh speech analysis so this is kind of the next stage of bots um i don't think a lot of people are here yet but it's really cool to see that um these features are being uh, presented and easily accessible um, in the Win Automation platform. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.